Welcome to this short video demonstrating the Facet Identity Cloak's deployment into the Milestone Expertech platform for post video redaction. During this video, we will introduce you to some of the core functions within the application, taking you through the process from beginning to end. By following the cursor in my commentary, you will be able to follow the complete process. When you open the Expertech client, you will see the Facet Identity Cloak tab appear here in the toolbar. By clicking on the tab brings up the application in the central screen where we are prompted to select a camera. The item picker box will appear from where you can select your host camera or video for what you have connected to your system. Selecting your target will automatically import the video into the application. Once the chosen video has opened you can use the timeline in the normal way to toggle to your required clip where you search for the specific piece of video you need. Clicking on the Time Selection Mode icon in the lower left corner will open the square brackets on the timeline, which you can move as you require to determine the specific clip you need. Once selected, we press Next in the lower right corner. This now brings us to where we select our target to be left in the clip. For this exercise, we will choose the lady with the basket in the middle of the screen. To begin, we first select the overall shape we are going to use for this task. Today we'll use a rectangle, so by selecting the rectangle icon and clicking New, we draw a box around the target. Whatever now is inside this box will remain clear. We are prompted to update the location of the target box every so many keyframes, which we can adjust to our specific needs on the right hand side. By just clicking once in the middle of the target, we'll move the original box to this location, which we continue to do until the target leaves the field of view. By using the timeline to go back over the last few moments, we can verify the target stayed within the box throughout the chosen clip. Once we are happy that we have captured what we need, we press save. We can have as many tracks as we like on each clip. Once we have created tracks we require, press next in the lower right corner. You can see now that other people in the clip have been redacted, whilst our target remains in the clear. We now have the opportunity to make some fine adjustments if we need to. By selecting the blur icon and moving the cursor back to the video, a circle will appear. Wherever we click the mouse now, the area under the circle will become blurred. We can do this as many times as we like, wherever we like in the frame, though this blurring is only on this single frame. Additionally, we can select a raise icon and the opposite will happen. Wherever we click in the frame, the area under the circle will become clear. We will just put it back how it was. Now, if we check the dynamic adjustment box, and select the blur function, let's just increase the size of the circle a little bit. When we now hold the mouse over a target, such as this gentleman here, and hold the mouse down, the video moves forward automatically, blurring each frame as long as we keep the mouse moving. We can do the complete opposite by selecting the erase function, if we want to clear an area dynamically. By using these controls, we can vary the depth and size of the blur, giving you full control of the levels of blur your redaction output uses even providing the option of a full body blur if required. Finally, we move to export, which when we click asks us to select the destination of the file to be exported, from where we can play the full redacted version. Thank you for watching this short video and any further details, please contact us at Facet Data Systems or see the links at Milestone Marketplace.